the reason we decided to commission this exhibition is because we wanted to commemorate and celebrate the impact of um, 40 years of Ugandan Asians being in Leicester. Um, Ugandan Asians came to Leicester in 1972 when they were expelled by dictator Idi Amin in Uganda. Uh, they came practically with nothing um, with them. They didn't have money, they had 50 pounds for the whole family and they came with a suitcase each. Um, and we just want to celebrate the impact in terms of economic, social, cultural impact that have had on the city of Leicester. The interesting part about this exhibition is it's not only a visual exhibition. Um, you can actually hear testimonies of people. Um, so for example, if I lift up this phone, I, I can actually hear the testi um, what Idi Amin said when he wanted to expel Asians. To ask the British government to take over responsibility for the British citizens of Asian origin living in Uganda who were sabotaging the economy of this country. It was really important for us to record the histories, oral histories of people who actually came from Uganda. So for this exhibition we've recorded about 40 histories um, of uh, people who came and you can hear some of the histories on the phone here. Um, so if you pick up the phone, you'll be able to hear the sort of things people suffered while um, coming from Uganda. Um, as you can imagine, Idi Amin's uh, regime um, was a very brutal regime, and people were really frightened. They had to come through so many checkpoints, even to come from their town to, to Entebbe, the airport. Um, and the difficulties people had um, are all recorded in, in this part of the exhibition. When a family comes with practically nothing, um, that they all, everybody says to us that they couldn't go any lower than that. Um, they had to get together as families, they had to fight, they had to struggle, but they had to survive. Most of all, they had to survive. And so everybody in the family started getting jobs. It was practically unheard of in Uganda for women to go out to work. But here, everybody knew that women had to go out to work as well, otherwise the family expenses won't be met. And so you find in this part of the exhibition, people working in different factories like the Imperial typewriters, um, the Koras, the British shoe industry, um, and the Walker's factory, and all, and all the factories that were um, um, employing people at that time in 1972. So you see a blanket there. A lot of people brought blankets and duvets with them because they'd heard that England is a very cold country. Um, and so what would you need? You'd need to be warm, so they brought that. Um, some people brought their utensils, as you can see here. They brought utensils from Uganda, which they've got. Um, a lady told us that um, she'd heard it's really cold and her chai would get really cold, so she brought a tea cozy and a teapot because, you know, wanted to make sure that, you know, they had enough. Um, we have a tiffin there um, and we have um, a machine to make chakri and gatya there uh, as well. These are some of the things people actually brought with them. Um, and again, the religious things were very, very important to people when they came because a lot of them have said faith was the only one thing they could rely on at that time and uh, you know so people have brought from different faiths we've got things that they brought with them from Uganda so what you see here is a celebration in a way of um, cultural, economic impact that the Ugandan nations have made. So if you um, look at that photo, for example, Maz Mashru um, is a famous photographer who's won world um, awards for his work. 
um, he was a photographer in Uganda, and that photo of him with Idi Amin um, is, um, it just takes you what he used to do then, and now he's uh, take, taking photos in the House of Commons of famous MPs, speakers, and so on, um, and also of famous Bollywood actors and actresses. Other people, the way they've contributed, you can see a, a number of business cards here. Leicester is famous for its jewellery shops, its um, restaurants, its um, businesses. Um, and all these are businesses of Asian uh, Ugandan Asians who came to Leicester um, 40 years ago. You've got um, innovative uh, packaging solutions. It's a massive firm which itself employs hundreds of people now. Um, you've got people like Jalpur who are distributing Asian groceries throughout England and Europe. Um, you've got jewelers from Kampala. You've got restaurants, uh, which are very famous, especially for vegetarian cuisine in Leicester. And people come, come from all over the world to actually be on Belgrave Road, where most of these um, are situated, and, and, and be part of Leicester. What you see here is we wanted the um, Ugandan Asian exhibition to be accompanied by a textile installation. Um, so what we did was we commissioned artists who worked with um, communities in Leicester to produce um, all these textile materials. Um, and it's, um, it's actually a work of valuing and celebrating the cultural values of Britain, South Asia and East Africa. And this is the collaboration you get. And for us, this is the textile installation of all three uh, values of all three countries coming together. And this is how it's become in, for life of Ugandan Asians in this country. They actually share the values um, and skills of all, the, all three, three cultures. This exhibition also asks the question, um, in terms of moving on, um, what have Ugandan nations established? So as you can see from the photos, as the communities came here, um, in Leicester had 10,000 people, Ugandan nations, who came to Leicester. Um, and so there was a massive impact on the religious um, side of Leicester. Um, so you can see the Swami Narayan Mandir, the Gurdwara, uh, there. Some people have gone back to see whether uh, they would like to consider going back to, to Uganda. So here you see Jaffa Kapasi going back to see his old school. You see Savita Ben down there who went back um, and visited the Murchison Falls National Park. Um, people have started going back to see the country. Whether they will stay there or live there um, is another question. What is also interesting historically is new communities come into an area. Then as they do better, they move out in, into um, the suburbs um, of Leicester in this case. But then other communities come in. And here you see, for example, the Somalian community, the South Indian community now coming to Leicester, and they're making their home in Leicester. Um, so this is really Leicester how have people made their homes in Leicester and celebrating the 40 years of Ugandan Asians in Leicester.